it's super sunny and hot outside. Let's make something to combat this heat. I'm thinking peanuts, Oreos, chocolate, chocolate fudge, and lots of cold ice cream. This is going to melt your misery away. The best part about this recipe is that you can make a huge batch at the start of the summer and enjoy it piece by piece throughout the summer. Let's make some peanut butter ice cream bars. So I'm setting my ice cream bars in this 6 by 6 inch glass dish. You can use anything that you like. If you don't have something like this, you can use a plate, a bowl or any mold of your choice. Now the quantities are obviously going to depend on the mold that you're using. So be aware of that, but you can use as much or as little of each ingredient that you want. So let's start by crushing our Oreos. This is going to form a non-stick base at the bottom of your pan. So just as many Oreos as you need to cover the bottom of the pan. There's no need to separate the cream from your Oreos. Just crush them as it is and add it to your dish. Just spread across the Oreos at the bottom of your tray and your first layer is ready. Before we start layering our dessert, let's make some hot fudge. So to make my fudge, I'm going to use the double boiling method. I have a pot of water here, which has one inch of water at the bottom and I'm going to place a bowl that fits snugly on it without touching the water. So in my bowl, first let me add all my ingredients till the water heats up. So first I'm going to add chocolate. This is dark chocolate. To this, I'm going to add some chunky peanut butter. You can also use smooth peanut butter. It's all up to you. Make sure that the quantity of your peanut butter and chocolate is equal in weight. Now that the water is boiling, I'm going to turn the flame down and place my bowl on the pot. We'll let this melt completely. As soon as the chocolate and the peanut butter melts, turn the flame off and take your bowl out. The best part about this is that you can set this fudge as it is and enjoy it at room temperature. But because I'm going to freeze this, I'm going to thin it down with a little bit of cream. So it's equal parts of chocolate, peanut butter and cream. So I'm adding in the cream. And now I'm gently going to mix this. One thing to be careful about is not to overheat the mixture of your peanut butter and chocolate. If you heat it too much, it might split and you won't like that. So our thick and gooey fudge is now ready. Let's set this aside to cool a little while we assemble our ice cream dessert. Today I'm using ready-made vanilla ice cream, but if you want to make an ice cream base at home, you can follow the recipe in the link that is available in the description below. So I'm going to start with small spoons of vanilla ice cream that I'm going to place on these Oreos. Make sure you're using small portions of the ice cream with your spoon so that it doesn't erode the Oreo from beneath. So just spread it across all over the tray, covering the Oreos and make it as smooth as possible. Now on this, I'm going to add some crunch with roasted peanuts. Once you use roasted peanuts, you're never going to go back to raw peanuts. So make sure to roast them. If you're roasting them at home, you can roast them at 200 degrees Celsius for about eight minutes in the oven, or just do it on a pan till they are nice and toasty and golden brown. So I'm just going to sprinkle these on top of the ice cream. And over this, I'm going to add my hot fudge. Now I'm going to place our hot fudge, which is now cool to the touch, over our peanuts. Just place small dollops all over and it will easily spread across. Now we're going to layer this with one more layer of vanilla ice cream. The ice cream has started melting a little, so be careful and do this quickly. Now I'm going to quickly level my ice cream using my favorite tool, that is my palette knife. If you don't have this, use a butter knife. Just make sure there's a nice and even layer 
over the top. Now let's add a little more crunch with some more peanuts. I'm going to cover the entire top with peanuts again. You can add as much or as little as you like. Now I'm going to freeze this till it's rock solid. This should take around 6 hours. 6 hours are up. Now time to finish this piece. This is super simple. I have some melted chocolate in this bowl to which I'm going to add a little bit of oil. I'm doing this to thin down the chocolate so that I don't have a very thick layer of chocolate on my ice cream bars. This is going to spread very evenly and it's also going to set on top of my cold ice cream. When you add oil to chocolate, it becomes very flowy in consistency. This is exactly what they use for chocolate fondues as well. Now let's use this to cover our ice cream dessert. Now I'm going to pour this chocolate mixture over my frozen dessert. It slides very easily and covers all the peanuts on top. I'm going to slice this using a very sharp knife. If required, you can also heat up your knife on the flame. I'm going to cut this right from the center from both sides. Look at all these layers, they look so beautiful. The crunch from the peanuts, the chocolatey taste of the fudge and Oreos, the creamy cold ice cream, this one hits the spot every single time. I'm going to go and enjoy this entire tray all by myself now. Until then, you go like this video, try this recipe out and come back here for another delicious recipe next week. I'll see you next time.